Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Halo, excuse me, my Daily Diary series. In today's video, before I discuss, as usual, what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the fourth book of Moses called Numbers, chapter 24. And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord to bless Israel, he went not, as at other times, to seek for enchantments, but he set his face toward the wilderness. And Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel abiding in the tents, in his tents according to their tribes. And the Spirit of God came upon him. And he took up his parable and said, And Lord Naren White came upon him. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam the son of Beor hath said, and the man whose eyes are open hath said, he hath said, which heard the words of God, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. How goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel! As the valleys are they spread forth, as gardens by the river's side, as the trees of Lignaloes, which the Lord hath planted, and as cedar trees beside the water. He shall pour the water out of his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath as it were the strength of an unicorn. He shall eat up the nations of his enemies, and shall break their bones, and pierce them with arrows, th pierce them through with arrows. He crouched, he lay down as a lion, and as a great lion, who shall stir him up? Blessed is he that blessed thee, and cursed is he that cursed thee. And Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam, and he smote his hands together. And Balak said unto Balaam, I called thee to curse mine enemies, and behold, thou hast altogether blessed them these three times. Therefore now flee thou to thy place. I thought to promote thee unto great honor. But lo, the Lord hath kept thee back from honor. And Balaam said unto Balak, Spake I not also to thy messengers which thou sentest unto me, saying, if Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the commandment of the Lord, to do either good or bad of mine own mind. But what the Lord saith, that will I speak. And now, behold, I go unto my people, come therefore, uh, and I will advertise thee what this people shall do to thy, thy people in the latter days. And he took up his parable, and said, Balaam the son of Beor hath said, and the man whose eyes are open hath said, he hath said, which heard the words of God, and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty, falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, uh, but not high. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scepter rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Sheth. And Edom shall be a possession, Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies, and Israel shall do valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be the, that he perish for ever. And he looked on the Kenites, and took up his parable and said, Strong is thy dwelling place, and thou pettest thy nest in a rock. Nevertheless, the Kenite shall be wasted until Asher shall carry thee away captive. And he took up his parable and said, Alas, who shall live when God doeth this? And ships shall come from the coast of Chittim, and shall inflict Asher, and shall afflict Eber, and he also shall perish forever. And Balaam rose up and went and returned to his place, and Balak also went his way. The word of the Lord. Thanks to God. Before I discuss the, um, you know, the most obvious uh, the, you know, the idea of uh, Balaam and uh, Lord Naren White, um, I want to just understand something, which is that how does Balaam's story end? Because that's how we still have to view Balaam, which is that
Interesting. I see. I see. So Balaam's, Balaam's ideas. At the end of the day, Balaam, unfortunately, he guides Balak on the most effective way to weaken Israel, which is through seduction via Moabite and Midianite women tempting the Israelites into sexual relationships and into pagan rituals. And the Israelites who participated bring God's judgment upon themselves in chapter 25, which I will read tomorrow. Next, um, I want to go ahead and discuss uh, the, the, you know, uh, the, the most obvious understanding from this chapter, which is uh, Numbers 24-2 here. And then the most uh, obvious passage that I want to discuss, which is uh, Numbers 24-2, obviously from an angelic perspective, where the uh, Spirit of God, Lord Aaron White, is featured again. So let's take a look here. So beautiful in the different translations you get that exact idea of what you're looking for of the Spirit of God uh, came upon him just as you would expect and um, of course the idea here in this chapter that we uh, we get with the Spirit of God so and 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 he took up his parable so The exact passage says, And Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel abiding in his tents according to their tribes, and Lord Naren White came upon him. So Balaam sees Israel abiding in their tents. Abiding meaning uh, loving, worshipping, praying, being together. Abiding in his tents according to their tribes, and the Spirit of God came upon him. So Lord Naren White comes upon Balaam looking over the children of Israel. And he took up his parable. So I need to understand this one as well here. This clearly looks to me that Bal uh, Balaam is taking up, is, is hearing a parable from Lord Naren White. Of course, I have written many parables now in my own gospel. And, and, and so other translations dis discuss how, and moved by Lord Naren White. So inspired by Lord Naren White. Um, so... Clearly, the, the, the purpose of what I'm saying here is Balaam is, 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 is witness to the power of God. He sees God's spirit. He hears from God the Father. He is a witness to God's power. And so it says here, And he took up his parable, meaning, And he, inspired by the spirit, Balaam the son of Beor hath said, And the man whose eyes are open hath said, He hath said, which heard the words of God, which saw the, the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. How goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel! As the valleys are they spread forth, as gardens by the river's side, as the trees of Lignolo Lignolos, which the Lord hath planted, and as cedar trees beside the water. 
He shall pour out the water out of his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his kingdom shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath as if it were the strength of an unicorn. He shall eat up his nations, and shall break their bones, and pierce them through with his arrows. All the compliments he gives of the power of Jehovah. He sees the power of Lord Naren White. He says, He crouched, he lay down as a lion, discussing Israel, and as a great lion. Who shall stir him up? Blessed is he that blesseth thee, and cursed is he that curseth thee. And now see here. And Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam, and he smote his hands together. And Balak said unto Balaam, I called thee to curse mine enemies. And behold, thou hast altogether blessed them these three times. That is Balaam's interaction with Lord Naren White. very beautiful now what I want to understand is what is the exact passage where Balaam deceives Israel Yeah. So at the end of this chapter, because I'm not seeing the exact passage, um, because th and this is absolutely correct, and I'm glad I came to my own conclusion, because nothing in chapter 24 explicitly says Balaam is writing out the children of Israel. So that's why I'm wondering why exactly the people are saying online Balaam rats out Israel, in terms of he, he deceives, he tells Balak that they are weak, uh, for the women of the, the way to manipulate them is to uh, have them, you know, to commit whoredom with the daughters of Moab and, and, and Midian. Uh, and, and so they that that is what eventually we will read about. But it doesn't actually say that here in this chapter, Numbers 24. It says how Balak and Balaam. Um, ba Balak sends Balaam away without pay after Balaam blesses Israel. Because this Lord Naren White comes upon Balaam, and Balaam extols about the power of God. And, and, and I want to go ahead and um, read you the passage here in Revelation 2.14, which is, this is in the later text that we understand what exactly Balaam does, which is, um, you know, we'll, we'll find out they, that the, the events in, the, in tomorrow's reading in chapter 25 of Numbers um, are influenced by Balaam, speaking to Balak. Here we go. In the Revelation of St. John the Divine, which features Lord Naren White heavily in, uh, in, in Revelation. Here it says here, But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. And so this is amazing, because here we are connecting the history of the world. We are connecting what happens here in all the way from the time of when the Spirit of God came upon Moses. The Spirit of God came upon uh, Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur. The Spirit of God comes upon Balaam. And then we connect that to the teaching. Uh, we know the consequence that happens in Numbers 25, which we'll read tomorrow, which is the children of Israel commit whoredoms. And then we see here that the, con the, what we, we, the teaching in Revelation says again, But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, 
and to commit fornication. This is the connection of the teaching of the world. That is the lesson there that all those generations later in Revelation, the people look back at what happens with the children of Israel and say they went astray in whoredom. And that lesson can still apply today about how a man can defeat himself in lust for women. And so with that, we'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today. And now, transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video. Since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to, excuse me, I worked at my chest, I worked at my legs, I uploaded and scheduled 38 Halo Infinite videos, I uploaded and scheduled my Daily Diary video for 7-15-22, and I created, uploaded, and scheduled, and, and will schedule this Daily Diary video for 7-16-22. And... With no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.